The Navajo Nation is rugged beauty and tragic ugliness side by side. Beautiful people and broken people, often in the same family. Rich tradition and rampant substance abuse. Even after over 100 years of Adventist mission on the Navajo Nation, the Navajo people are still considered an unreached people group for the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This means that sharing our powerful message of hope, health, and wholeness requires help from the outside. The numbers are staggering. It's a handful of faithful Adventist believers ministering to an area as large as the state of West Virginia. It's the largest Indian reservation in North America. God has been opening the way for our Diné Adventist radio network to reach all across this huge mission field with our unique message thanks to the Adventist understanding of health principles that can bring healing to body, mind, and spirit. Here on the Navajo Nation, almost everyone, even in remote places, has a radio, and they listen to those radios when they are out herding sheep, making the fry bread, or chopping their wood. Their radio is playing. The Federal Communications Commission has already issued two full-power FM radio licenses for the Navajo Nation, and a third one is pending, along with three low-power licenses to cover some of the larger towns on the reservation. To meet that goal, we need to raise $1.3 million, and that's a huge challenge. But the good news is that over one-third of that has already come in from generous donors like you. We have already discovered that Navajo people want what Adventists have to share. Since we began a 30-minute weekly broadcast on the local tribal station, we've been receiving an average of two to three requests every week for spiritual material, most of them for Bible studies. Imagine what the response will be when we're on the air 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's listen to what some of our faithful Navajo Adventist believers say about why this is important to them. My name is Tony Goldtooth. We listen to the radio anytime. The radio is still very, very important and my people listen to it. These are people that live way up on the Navajo Reservation that don't have running water, don't have electricity. They live out there and they just have a radio and listen to it. With a new radio tower that is mentioned, that there is a great potential for our people to hear the gospel. A lot of people out here don't know Jesus, very simple. And the radio is probably the far best way to reach the people. A lot of the elderly people didn't know what's going on, and that's the only way they can uh, really get good information. It's reaching people where they're at, and that means at any time. And it also means that it, regardless of what they're going through at the moment, you know, you know, we hear back from a lot of them who are reaching out for prayer due to anxiety, family issues, drugs and alcohol problems, you know, and um, people are searching and looking for answers and for hope. And so I feel like that's what it's doing in 24 hours that would be going out. The Navajo people need your help to make this vision a reality. You can send a check to Diné Adventist Radio at P.O. Box 536, Window Rock, Arizona 86515 or donate online by going to dinaadventistradio.org. Just click on the Donate tab at the top of the homepage and follow the prompts. So it is clear that through radio we can reach thousands of people we might never contact otherwise. You too can help us share this Adventist message of health, hope, and healing to the Navajo people. Go to our website, dinetadventistradio.org to learn more.